from EVC. We're here today at Castle Coombe to conduct the most comprehensive braking test of its kind. We're going to be comparing EBC products against the OE items on these three cars behind me and showing, together with data, just how much of an improvement and difference EBC products will make to upgrading your vehicle. We've got Jake Hill, a professional racing driver, here today with us to give honest, detailed feedback on how the brakes feel from behind the driving seat. So you can imagine how the EBC products are performing when pushed to the absolute limit out on track. Hi, I'm Jake Hill and I'm driving for MB Motorsport in the British Touring Car Championship, the pinnacle of British motorsport. And today I've been invited down by EBC to test these three lovely cars behind me on the OE versus EBC brake pad and disc test. Let's get into it. Okay, so we are just about to start our first test. So we are on board with the Ford Fiesta ST. Uh, we've obviously the Michelin Pilot Sports underneath me on the tires. And this is a standard brake pad setup, uh, along with a disc, standard disc as well. So let's see if, uh, how much fade we get. Just about to start my first lap. So the ABS is quite strong on the car. So far it's not too bad, only a couple of corners in. circuit just to be testing this. Lots of stops to start, good chicanes. Okay, so lap two, we we'll see what the brake is like this time. So we'll go into turn one. Breaking definitely starting to get a little bit longer already. It's also just starting to rain, which is nice.
up and the brakes are definitely starting to go long. The feel has definitely gone away, so in terms of what I'm feeling under the foot, it's not a lot. It's just uh, mainly ABS pressure that's kicking in. Um, I'm not actually getting much feel for what the brake pad has given me. to 120 mile an hour into turn one. It went nice and hard. Chassis, brilliant car, but it just 
not got the braking capabilities that you would like, especially from a standard car. Okay, so we're going to call it quits there. You know, that's six laps in. Uh, pretty hard driving, you know, not not uh, not going around slowly. But the brake pad just isn't giving me any more. You know, it is giving up. It's uh, the initial hit on the brake pedal. The pedal sinks immediately halfway down, rather than a nice solid uh, brake pedal to begin with. So, yeah, it's not the not the nicest of feelings, and it gives you a, a lack in confidence because of that. So. Yeah, not ideal, but there we go. Six laps in and we've killed uh, the standard brake pad. Our little Fiesta ST. Mm. Yeah, the cheapest car here by a long way, but still a lot of fun, isn't it? So how did that great go on track? Car. Yeah, great chassis, uh, yeah. mega little fun car to, to yeah. you know rock up at a track day in, especially for sort of your newcomers to track days. Perfect little car to and, go and, and get. just to clarify, you were running the OE pads and discs, so yeah. standard, Ford pads and discs that yeah. you could go and buy in a dealership. Yeah. So, um, you know, obviously they're going to be very road focused on that sort of car because STs, you know, how many Fiesta STs are you realistically going to get on track? It's probably yeah. a much smaller percentage of that vehicle that you're going to see other than a GTR or 1M. Yeah. You know, you'd imagine these guys, hopefully these vehicles are getting taken on track because that's, that's where they perform great, isn't yeah. it? Sometimes they're yeah. not, they're, yeah. sometimes they're in garages, but yeah. you, you know, what we've shown today is actually take it out in car. Yeah, I mean, so the ST, the standard brakes, so how many laps were you getting out of that before you started to get some fade and, and a long pedal? So it's important to say that the Fiesta we did in a completely dry circuit. So yeah. obviously the brake force that I'm putting through the car is a lot more. So lot whereas higher. compared to the GTR and the 1M, it was wet slash damp. Um, so obviously the brake force is going to be a, a lot less. So mm. with the Fiesta, I saw about four laps um, of before decent... Before you started to get yeah, a bit of fade of coming decent in, yeah. braking before the pedal started to go long. And then, yeah, six, seven, and eight, lap six, seven, and eight, the pedal really started to lose it. And you, you could tell the temperature went mad. Yeah. Uh, went straight it's got, from, very, it's got very small discs on that Fiesta. Has. So yeah. when, when the temperatures start to rise, it can't, it, it, it can't it, get rid of it. It, 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 just, it just escalates, you know, yeah. it goes up exponentially almost. It really starts to struggle, doesn't it? Yeah, so, exactly. So, um, so yeah, so anyway, I'm looking forward to getting out in the Fiesta. Yeah, so you've had experience on yeah. all the OE stuff. Yeah. So now we're going to chuck EBC on all the cars. Yeah. Uh, the the um, Fiesta's going to be running yellow stuff. Yeah. The 1M is going to be running blue stuff, yeah. and the GTR is going to be running a race material called RPX, cool. which is a brand new race material from, from EBC Brakes Racing. Yeah. Um, and then we're going to see how you get on and Perfect. see whether, you know, if it improves things, the, the feel gets better. Um, Looking so, yeah. forward to it. Yeah. Cool. That's good. Thank yeah, you. And you're having fun. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Who isn't? Yeah. And, it, and the sun's shining at the moment. At the moment. Yeah, Fingers so we'll crossed see. it stays like No that. more clouds looking too threatening, but hopefully it doesn't start hailing again, then we yeah. should be all right. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, Cheers. well done, mate. Well done. <laughs> Fiesta with the EBC brake pads and discs on. Straight away, the confidence in the brake pedal is unreal. Such a hard brake pedal, which is nice, you know, it gives you a really good confidence feel. I can really brake late, throw the car in. It's really, really nice.
So now you've driven all the three cars on the EBC products. It's getting windy and it's getting cold. So yeah. let's do this debrief before we freeze. <laughs> but how did it go for you out there with the EBC products? Start with the Fiesta ST, yeah. so which was running yellow stuff pads. Yeah, so okay. the, the Fiesta ST, um, a massive improvement, I think it's safe to say, both in temperature, feel, uh, and everything about the braking performance has yeah. just upped massively. It gives you <laughs> such confidence on the brakes. And um, you know, it really, 
it really just gives you that inspired drive. Really, yeah. you know. It, so how many laps did you do on, on in the Fiesta? Ten laps. Then? So you did ten laps, yeah. and was it was it dry? Was it? It was dry, wasn't it, it for was. the Fiesta? Yeah. And it was dry with the OE, so you yeah. got comparable conditions. Yeah. So after, on the OE, you said earlier that I think you said the pads faded after about three laps. Yes. Which is kind of what you'd expect because obviously it's not really a designed car for the track. It's yeah. more of a fast road car. Yeah. And on the EBC, what kind of lap did you get to before you experienced fade? Didn't have any. You didn't have any no, fade? So in a 10 lap, fa in a ten yeah. lap uh, phase of driving, um, we didn't have a, a single drop of fade. You know and, I mean? And what temperatures different were you hitting? On the thing, were you hitting about 500, 600? I think you said 610 yeah. or something so at one point. We got to 700 odd in the OE pad. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, we got to like 550 with the yellow stuff. Okay. Pad. So it's a massive, you know, improvement. It's 150 degrees, you know, it's big. And obviously, you got the groove disc and the, and, the yeah. and the grooves in the facing of the disc, which yeah. are going to help the cooling a bit as well. It's a more yeah. track focused brake disc. But yeah. I mean, so that's a very positive review then. I mean, absolutely. I mean, you know, it is, it is my own view, you know, although, yes, I'm doing the day with you, it is my complete, honest view of the pad. Yeah. You do get a slight, almost like a vibration sense from the grooves in the disc. You can feel that they're working hard. Exactly. Yeah, yeah you can feel that it's really hard. venting as you're on, under hard braking. Um, but, you know, from a performance point of view, there, there was no drop in that 10 lap period.